Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We are headed into we'll town. Be in the rain, then. Yeah, we'll be putting the horses in, in the rain. And, like that's the thing. When you have horses at home, you don't go anywhere. You don't do anything until you decide what you're doing with the horses. So the horses are outside. I don't know if you can see them. They're out there having breakfast, and it's getting close to the time that we take them off the grass. Guys, these are literally the best markers. These are the best markers. Three dollars, blendable water-based markers. I'm gonna order us some really fun markers for homeschool this I, year. I I saw these at the dollar store and I'm like, these look like really good markers. So if you buys anything at the dollar store, it's your favorite store. The dollar store has the best stuff. Okay. So essentially, you can't blame me. That's my favorite store. We have to decide before we leave the house. We'll be back in time to put them in in at the right time. But then we also have to think about like if it rains, what will happen? So when it rains, they have a shelter, right? wait, big they huge have a shelter. Yeah, they have a shelter, and they did use it once because they got caught in the rain one time. But our horses are so spoiled; like they don't like being left out in the rain, <laughs> so we don't leave them out in the rain. It's crazy. So we're taking a chance today. We're taking a chance, chance. you guys. Chance. I know. Take I know. a chance. We're taking a chance to see. Or we're taking a chance that we'll be back before the rain arrives. And if not, Gabby's home alone, and she'll have to like handle it. And if not, she doesn't handle it. Then they'll use their shelter for like the second time of their lives. Like, well, they normally it's just horse around the shelter, and we all go to the gate. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, like if it starts pouring rain out. Our horses run to the gate, look at the house, run to the gate, look at the house. Like, they tell us. They want to go in, so we put them in. But anyways, welcome to today's video. I have lots of amazing footage from our ride last night that I'm going to try and edit later today. Um, Sophie rode Denver. It was amazing. Anyway, you guys will see that. Our friends, our friends didn't show up they because all of our friends ditched us last night. It is summer. One of our friends was on holiday and then the other friends are sick and so it was a lonely lesson. It was quiet at the barn, but we needed that. We needed that. So if we had some things that she really needed to be reminded about that she needed Brandon's full attention and Gabby is really working at boat riding Lily and it was just relaxing and fun and anyway, we are headed into town to do some shopping, but before we go, before we go, I want to tell you guys something that's been heavy on my heart. And when I say heavy, I mean in a good way. I've had friends talking to me recently about like some drama and stuff that's been happening at their barns. You guys know barns are a hard place to be sometimes because not there's so many women all in the same place and it's hard to get along with everybody all the time. But they've been telling me like awful, I've been hearing so many awful stories of awful things that happen and it's not the barn fault, it's not the people's fault, like just so hard situations. And it made me realize so how grateful we are for our barn. Like our barn is so accommodating. They do so much to make sure that we're happy. Like they way them the way they manage their fields is unbelievable. And the way that they're calm and relaxed and even if I'm like if I panic about something, they are so calm always and they have taught me, like have you guys noticed a calmness in me that I never had before? I swear that's Brandon's influence. I swear like our barn is so I'm so grateful for them I'm so grateful for them and I think it needs to be said I needed to say it like the attitude and the mindset at that barn is phenomenal and I'm just so grateful for what I'm learning there so ow so ow just got whacked in the face with the oh because the seatbelt's on silly Sophie so we are back from shopping we stopped at a couple of stores and we found some fun things for our horses. Well, not fun things for our horses. One fun thing. We got an extra ball. A big one. You guys know Penny is a ball lover. And I don't know if we're going to leave it at this barn and keep it for Penny. Or if Sophie's going to take it and use it for Chance. We got some more horse show chairs. We got two of them. And one of them is so super cool. And I got a new muck bucket. But I think Sam put it in the barn already. I love muck buckets. Like muck buckets have so many uses. It's a different color than we usually use, but I still like it. Anyways, my glasses are destroyed now. I feel like the nose thing is pushed out of place, so I gotta go fix that. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, because I wanna show you something else. 
So what I wanted to show you is a surprise. It's in this package. It's something that a company made specifically for Sophia. I'm so super excited to show you guys because it's personalized and I know that a lot of you guys love personalized stuff for your horses. So I'm gonna share it tomorrow. We're gonna show you guys tomorrow. It's so beautiful and amazing. I love how it's personalized. I love it. Like, anyway, I'll show you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog, so stay tuned for that. It is literally dark as heck. Dark as heck today. We've been so lucky this summer. It hasn't it hasn't been so super hot. Yeah, do you like it? We got this. It's bigger than the one I have and I'm way more heavy duty. I love it and it's blue. So our color for our barn is red and blue. And we got a blue one. It's the only one they had there. It was on sale for $6.99. So we got it, and now it's a Gabby. You're vibrating in this thing. Wow. Yeah, when you put That's it That's weird. Head, all, you hear, all you hear is a slight vibration. Wow. Gabby's a turtle. <laughs> a vibrating turtle. It's purple. Yeah, it's purple. What color is the other one? Is the other one in here? Let's see. Is it as big as that one? Yeah. Same size? Well, now we have two. Penny. Look, Pen! So, I'd like to ask you guys for some suggestions. I know I do it a lot, and I'm so super grateful. The suggestions you guys gave me for my on my trail ride about what to take next time to fix the bug problem was so exciting for me. Here, I'll give you a couple of treats. Turn around, and there's a bucket in front of me. A bucket girl. Can we Here. get like 50 more of these? You want 50 more of those balls? Yeah. So that, um... That ball was really cheap. Yeah, this was $4. Yeah, $4. Oh. I can line them all up and Penny has to go around pushing each Yeah, one. I think it'll be fun. Like, I think we're about to experience something interesting with Penny and her ball, in her Wait. ball journey. But anyways, my question to you guys is... Wait, don't touch. No like, touch. No come, no she touch. says. No touch, no touch. <laughs> Penny's like, oh, I will touch it. <laughs> But we could let her choose what color she likes better. Put them both in front of her. No touch. My question is, oh crap, now I forgot my question. What was my question? The closest one. <laughs> and she's not a lazy horse either. Oh. So my question is this. My question is, I watched a video recently where they say like, always put new things. So you guys would put new things. Those are filled with water in our horse's field. All the time, like, and our horses spend a lot of time in this arena. They love it. And um, what would you, like what are some things that you guys would put in here? I know we can fill a bottle with rocks and hang it up and I might do that. I know like jolly balls and, oh. Oh my gosh, if she gets it in that, we can get her to play basketball. <laughs> Lilo's like, I don't like balls. Vibrations. Do you have a light bulb? Kind of. Um, I know like a treat balls like that, hay balls like that. And her jolly ball, which we should put out here because she doesn't play with it in her stall. But what else would you guys put out here? What else would you put in their field to alternate? to right. make them, like to stimulate them and to make things more interesting for them. I'm going to the car. All right, I'll be right there. Wow, almost in the bucket. If we could get her to put a ball in a bucket, that would be cool. Oh, so close. She loves that trick. So I guess my, they just came in off the field, so it's her nap time. <laughs> I really don't want to, I'll go for the easy ball, she says. <laughs> oh. She's like, there's two! <laughs> what are we gonna do? <gasps> Oh man, she's so fun. 
So that is my question. What other fun things would you put? Like, would you put a tire or is that kind of dangerous? Like, a tire. Or would, like, what would you put, you guys? What would you put? Stimulate your horse. Because our horses, our mares, are so super curious, especially Penny. We're headed to the barn to take care of Chino, and we decided to stop for a late lunch. So, this is the menu. They have pasta. They do have pasta. Sophie is a pasta girl. Gabby is a chicken nugget girl. <laughs> Sam is a steak boy. I'm gonna get a salad. Really shiny. That is really shiny. So they have a garlic dill chicken sandwich. They have chicken and waffles. That looks so good, but so fatty. All right. Gabby is a connoisseur of hot spice. So, hey, did I get a water? Yep, this is mine. So we all ordered. Are we all are ready? Are you ready? No, really. Oh, Sophie and I know what we want. So I got a salad and it looks like this. Like that is a, whoa, that is a salad. That's a salad. That's a salad. Uh, Gabby got wings and french fries. Sophie got uh, poutine, which not everybody knows about. Not every country, it's a Canadian thing, I think. It's gravy and cheese curd and french fries. And Oh, Gabby's are spicy. Um, and Sam got... St. Louis poutine. A St. Louis poutine. It's just says chicken. It says chicken. This, is so, this was so good, you guys. So good. Whoops. So, so hard to hold. Sophie tried the, um, the crust, the bowl. Did you like it? Or it just tastes plain? Plain. Holy cow, you guys. When we were eating, somebody got hit by a bike. The roads are all closed off. The police are everywhere. And we didn't even hear it. Like we heard nothing. Someone got hit on a bike. So we are at the barn again, doing Chino. But to, the farrier comes again tomorrow. Do you know our farrier literally came the day he got the abscess or a couple days after he got the abscess. And then he came again two days later to check and make sure he was okay. Like, so good. Like, showed Gabby everything to do, even more than what you normally do for uh, abscess. More than what our vet told us to do. And, um, he's coming tomorrow again. He's coming tomorrow again, like three times in a week, just to make sure he's doing good. And he called me, like, on two days after he came the first time, he called me and said, like, how's Chino? Gabby. Gabby the crazy cat girl. Can you watch my horse? Yeah, I'll watch him. You going to the bathroom? All right, when you come back, I gotta go. I have to pee. I do not know why she's taking the cat to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, she's not. Goodbye, kitty. Are you getting a soak? He's so good about being soaked. Remember the other day when I said, like, we were making, like, bets who is gonna be the boss of the field? Chance is the boss of his old field. Gino's usually the boss of his field. Who is it gonna be? I don't know what you got, who you guys voted, but the... The answer is Chino is the boss. Chino is the boss and Chance doesn't even hardly like uh, push him. Like in the other field, he pushed them. In this field, he doesn't even do anything. Yesterday, Gabby fed Chino, it was late. Gave him his grain late. Chance had already had his grain. And I was, we were watching to make sure there wouldn't be a problem. And Chance just stayed right there at the feeder or at the hay bale, just eating, enjoying himself. Didn't even make a move to Chino's grain. So Gabby is lunching Chino. She just lunches him at a walk so that he's moving around, making everything move good. And maybe I wonder if that's like the issue that he just stands around so much when we're not here. But anyways, so some people have been asking me for an update on Storm. And so I'm just gonna tell you guys what happened. Recently I did an update where I showed you guys him in a show when he won a reserve champion with a little girl. So basically, um, the girl that that runs this barn was telling me today that in camp the little girl that rides him that one of the little girls that rides him and loves him um told her that storm is her soulmate storm is her soulmate she said that she just wants to ride storm she just loves him and another girl just only wants to ride storm they're best friends and they used to be in the same lesson and now they had to switch lessons because they both want to ride him that's how much they love him and then i've talked to a mom that rides him and she told me that they're she's in love with her with him and i've talked to another girl that rides him and she just loves him and it's just been 
such a good thing for him. Like I am so glad that Gabby made the choice to lease out her boy. It's just been such a good thing for him. He's in shape, he's doing well, and he's not having to be pushed too much. He's taking these little teeny tiny girls around and just loving life. So there you go. That is your Stormy Boy update. Don't you know that you're beautiful?